I wouldn't want to break the internet with how damn fashionable I am. What do we think, guys? What do we think? Am I cool yet? Here's a good question. Where should we hide the body? <laughs> Jokes followers. Where would be a good place to hide the body? <laughs> Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, and delightful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Footless Joe, where I am still Joe, and I am still missing a foot. If you've been on the channel before, I know that you've met T-shirt Joe. You you've probably met Hoodie Joe. You probably met Stretchy Pants Joe, even Athletic Shorts Joe. But have you ever met Super Cool and Trendy Joe with the dog messing up her cool shot? Super Cool and Stylish Joe? <laughs> I didn't think so. Today, we are gonna be going on quite an adventure. So, I have mentioned before in passing that clothes are a bit of a difficult subject for me. Since losing my leg, since becoming a below the knee amputee, clothes got even more difficult than they already were. And I fall into this pattern of basically only wearing sweatpants, athletic shorts primarily, hoodies, and t-shirts. And there's not a darn thing wrong with any of those. I love them, they will be staples in my closet until the day that I die. But sometimes I get really bored with that, sometimes I get really bored wearing the same thing. I feel like how I'm presenting myself to myself, to the world, world doesn't reflect what I want it to be. I think we talk about clothing and presentation often as like a vanity thing, but for me, I think that clothing can be a pretty powerful thing. Like it's, it's a creative expression of yourself and I've been creatively not expressing myself through the clothes that I've worn for a very long time, especially because it's a little more difficult with a prosthetic leg. So with that being said, today we're gonna go on an adventure. But before I tell you what that is, a quick word from our amazing sponsor. I am legitimately very excited to talk to you about our sponsor today because I worked with them about a year ago. I absolutely love what they do and when they reached out to me again, I was like, yes, it's time. Sponsoring today's video, we have Ana Luisa Jewelry. You can see me wearing their beautiful necklace pieces here as well as these super cool and cute earrings. So I've never worked with a brand that I didn't like or didn't use, but this one in particular I love because they make me feel feminine and fancy and pretty on days that I want to feel that way. You've seen me wearing their earrings in a lot of live streams recently because they sent this pair to me and I absolutely fell in love with them. It's great for just like chilling around the house and wanting to dress up a little bit, you know, with a nice piece of jewelry, but their pieces are also beautiful and are great for dressing up if you're going out somewhere or because we're in quarantine, you're staying home and dressing up because you feel like it. Their prices, especially for the quality, I think are outstanding. Their pieces start at $39 and go up so that's not like completely breaking your bank account, especially considering the level and the quality quality of jewelry that we're talking about. Something else that I think is really fantastic about them and worth mentioning is that they are a carbon neutral company. That means that 100% of their carbon emissions, starting with the sourcing of the raw materials all the way to disposal of pieces, is offset. As a company, they are all about sustainability, but they certainly don't sacrifice any kind of quality in that pursuit. As one might expect, because we are approaching the end of November, they have a fantastic Black Friday sale going on. So check out their link right below. Please use my code if you find a piece that you love. I guarantee at least a few things will probably catch your eye. So if there's someone in your life, be it yourself or someone else, who likes to wear jewelry, please check them out. Like I said, use that code. And with that being said, let's dive in. So I happen to know some pretty cool and stylish people. One of my very good friends, Megan, is very into and interested in fashion and is fantastic putting outfits together. So there's that, combined with the fact that I do not have a ton of money to spend on new clothes. Like that is just, just not in the budget right now. And so I asked her about how she might feel about going on a thrift shopping fashion adventure. And she said, of course. So let's go meet the person I know has always been deep down in there somewhere. Cool, fashionable, stylish Joe. Looked like a bug. Let's do this. We went into Goodwill with some pictures as sort of references of what we were looking for and kind of the outfits that she wanted to style me in. So we're gonna look up, let's look at some color ideas here. I'm interested uh, if I could pull that off. I've always dreamed of being a Dalmatian. Taking a detour here for some purple rain boots. Yeah, I feel like these are not high fashion, but, but practical me. for Colorado. And also, they're super cute. And also, they're purple. But the odds of me getting these on my uh, on my leg and staying upright are pretty low. Let's see what what happens here. Oh nope. nope. <laughs> Well, we tried, and that's all that matters. Trying is what matters. Disaster has struck. We didn't uh, think about the pandemic and the fact that fitting rooms are going to be closed. So we're going to have to make some guesses. Yes. Like this could all go together, potentially. I feel very America right now. Yeah, you should. Red, white, and blue vibes. Is this fashion? 
So we just discovered that this tank top is actually Gymboree, which is the children's <laughs> brand, but it fits. But it fits. We're having some misses here with our trench coats. Yeah, the trench coats. Serial killer vibes. It looks like you're naked underneath. If all else fails, I have found It's a win. Best t-shirt. It's a win. All right, so fam, what do we think about this oversized sweatshirt? Uh, do we feel like it might be edging on too oversized? Like this is- Where are your hands sleeps. at? Poke your fingers out, let's this see. Yeah, hand. I definitely think we can make it work. It would look good with some bike shorts. Starfish. This so, is great. oversized sweater with some bike shorts. Excellent. Okay, cool. Definitely yes, possibility. yes. Maybe like oversized men's sweater. We're thinking like tucked in somewhere. Okay, now that you can actually see our faces without masks, uh, I think we got some pretty good stuff. We did. We did get some good stuff. I'm excited. It's a little outside my comfort zone, but not too far as yes. to be like, you know, impractical. So, we're going to go see what kind of outfits we can assemble with the rest of our wardrobe. Yes. Good stuff for thrift find yes. trends. Having assembled our, our raw supplies, our canvas, if you will, for the outfits to come, we headed back to Megan's house to actually start trying some of this on. So one of the big goals here, at least for me personally, was to try things that were a little bit outside my comfort zone, try things that I would usually be like, nah, I'm good, I'm fine, let me just keep my t-shirts. But I wanted to go on this journey of sort of letting Megan push me outside my comfort zone, and it was a lot of fun. It was awesome to kind of be like, yeah, I could pull that off, or yeah, I, I feel like I do look good in that. Welcome to the part of the video where I completely forgot to turn on my mic. So what I'm saying is, look at the clothes we got. Aren't those cool? Okay. And uh, also, this is what I look like normally. Megan's going to turn me into a fashion god. Let's continue. Okay. We have fashion numero uno. Uh, this is not like anything I ever would have put together on my own, but I kind of yes. really like it. So this is a men's <laughs> sweater that we thrifted from H&M. Like if I could learn, if I could teach myself to wear skirts, it would be so handy for leg stuff because I don't have to worry about like pants or shorts or anything like that. Look what Megan just put together. Yes. I could totally see myself wearing like either of those. Yeah, and I, I myself, cause I'm not, I don't have a amputated <laughs> leg. You didn't um, chop your leg off? I would, like yeah, I'd probably pair it with a heeled boot, but I think for Joe, definitely would look fine with like a flat, either one of these outfits. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay. I'm so okay. over this one. The, the <laughs> pants, uh, just snug. They're well, a little snug. I think something like this. A pair of boot cut really jeans, well. just a simple tee underneath, yeah. and then a leather jacket that we thrifted. I think we just found a winner. I don't know. I feel pissed up today. Yeah. Up in my feelings. Here I go, here I go again. We just keep on repeating. Here we go. Here we go again. Okay, so one of the relatively uh, annoying things about clothing right now is at the bottom of my prosthesis, I have this Velcro strip, and it seems to be losing some of the stickiness. Um, so when I was trying to put these on, it just like pulls it right up and then it gets sticked to the clothing. I've gotta figure out a better way of making that work. Maybe like electrical tape or something. The, the, the sloth shirt was not part of the fashion agenda. But we're gonna make it a part of the fashion agenda. But we're gonna make it a part, okay. <laughs> This is more in my wheelhouse of like jeans, random t-shirt, and then if I feel extra fancy, maybe jacket over it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we just got the sloth shirt, which we bought for fun, but we're gonna make it work. So here we go. Uh, blast of the past of turtlenecks. I grew up wearing turtlenecks, and then I got made fun of for wearing too many turtlenecks because turtlenecks went out of style. Well, suck it, Bane World, <laughs> and it we're in. A good basic never dies. That's right, and this is, like this is just, this is super cozy and cute and just yeah. fun. So I've been told that the um, the bike short look with like baggy clothes is in style. Yes, so this is kind of like a Kaya Gerber meets Princess Diana going to go do her aerobics. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very true actually. Also this would be super easy, like again with the, my prosthetic, cause it, cause like they're long enough to be like, I would wear this in normal life. The baggier the better. Yep, the baggier the better. <laughs> what do we think guys? What do we think? Am I cool yet? This is the Joe Megan concoction. I think I like it. Yeah. I do. Joe X Megan. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Our fashion line coming soon. <laughs> so clothing has always been like this weird topic for me. I was I was raised as a homeschool kid, which was wonderful. I love that experience, but I already felt different than other kids. And then like, I didn't really care that much about the clothes that I was wearing. So it just sort of like reinforced that fact. So it's really fun to like play around with different styles and be like, what, what could I be? I, I can do more than just wearing like a hoodie and jeans, which is my daily at the moment. Um, yeah, this is, this is great. So once we were done upstairs assembling our favorite outfits, we went downstairs where Brian was waiting with his opinions. Hold on, Brian. Br Brian's here. What do you think of my cool, sexy clothes? I see how it objectively is a good thing, <laughs> but I know her 
and it's just tough to <laughs> it's tough to take it seriously. <laughs> what? Oh, no, no. I'm a I'm a legit badass. What are She's you talking so about? Stylish. <laughs> Turns out he is not a fan of cool stylish Joe. He likes hoodie and t-shirt Joe, and frankly, I, I can't blame him for that. She's pretty great. But we thought we'll press on and see if a few other outfits in this fashion show would do it for him. All right, look number two. <laughs> <laughs> it's they they didn't. They really didn't. You're the worst. It's, it's big. <laughs> it was a little bit big on me, but I feel cool. Yeah. You look like. <laughs> That's the point. You look Ryan. like. Is this still recording? Yeah. It looks like you robbed your mother's wardrobe in 1994. <laughs> Here, here's a good question. Where should we hide the body, <laughs> Joe's followers? Where would be a good place to hide the body? I'll, I'll tell Elaine Bennis from Seinfeld. We found who stole her clothes. <laughs> so we're so we're 0 for two on the outfits uh, on on husband thumbs up, but I'm thinking this next one which consists of featuring a sloth, could be our winner. We're gonna find out. Gale of one to 10, are we doing better? You're doing much better than the other two. Okay. <laughs> Objectively one to 10? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say fight, fight. <laughs> zero to 10, 6.8. Being coerced <laughs> at least one point in that direction, though. Okay. Peggy is what's in, Brian. Yeah, Peg. But I like them, and I'd love to hear what you have to think down below. So, allow me to introduce you to Model Joe's fashion show in front of a Christmas tree with a lot of puppies interrupting. <laughs> like expands upon what it already wears, especially like the bike shorts and like baggy sweaters looking. I'm loving this. I am as well. I am as well. <laughs> I had so much fun with this whole project. With all of the pieces that we got, it was under $50, which is usually like what a pair of jeans costs. So that was pretty fantastic. And I learned a little bit more about like style and, and other things that I could do. And again, I just want to make a quick note that like I'm not a I'm not really into fashion. That's never been something that I followed. But finding a new style, a new way to creatively express myself on the canvas of my physical form was really cool. I don't want to stress this point too much, but frankly, there are times when I'm really uncomfortable presenting myself to the world in any way. There, there are days, they are rare, but there are some days when I'm like, I hate my prosthetic sleeve, feel like it looks weird, or there are days when I'm like wearing leggings and, and boots or whatever, where it's very clear that my calf disappears on one side, and I know it looks fine, like I don't have a problem with it 99% of the time. Other times I struggle with discomfort with, with what I look like. That's something I'll continue to actively work through. I'm really happy with the way I'm able to see my body the vast majority of the time, but there are some days when I struggle with it. So for me, doing something like this is really therapeutic, sort of celebrating and being creative and trying new things with my body and with how I'm presenting myself is pretty great. I know this video is a little bit different than other videos I've done. Don't worry, I am not turning into a fashion blogger, mostly because I wouldn't want to break the internet with how damn fashionable I am. <laughs> Thank you so much for going on this adventure today. I realize that there's like zippers on these sleeves and it's making a lot of noise. So um, fashion apapparently comes at the price of uh, audio quality. Huge thank you again to our sponsor, Ana Luisa. I really appreciate you guys partnering with me for this video. I'd really appreciate it if you check out their site, use their code, like I said below, if there's pieces you're interested in. On a side note, this company has also been an absolute delight to work with as someone who works with a number of different sponsors. And I think that says a lot about our company as well. So check them out. A ginormous thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for continuing to support this channel and enabling me to do what I do here. Thank you, I am eternally grateful. And to you watching this video right now, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today and also here with uh, stylish, cool, fashionable Joe. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to spend a few minutes here with me and I really appreciate that. Now, if you find yourself thinking, I, I, I liked hoodie and t-shirt Joe, don't you worry, she'll still be around, but um, the powerful feeling faux leather jacket Joe will probably make uh, visits on occasion as well. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. It's so loud. Why is it so loud? Have her from the sky, all about